Okay, so I'm um, going to apply it to tip uh, to show not only a, an application technique um, as far as how the material is used, uh, but also, I, me personally, I, I did a lot of sets, um, couldn't get my hands on too many hand models, and wound up doing a lot of tips, and I learned a bunch of things about the material, uh, binding, applying it on, uh, on tips. Not only these stiletto tips, uh, which, are, which are dynamite, got them from Elite. System, uh, nail systems here in Orange County, California, um, but uh, but always used them on on uh, on number one, more traditional large square tips as well. In any case, so this is gray fade. One of the reasons um, the solids are not solids; they're fades because we wanted to expand the creativity. Why give you a sheet of all black or all gray when we could do both? And then uh, and you will see the prints do vary. Um, it's a it's a creative product and. Uh, and, and we believe in the variances, we like them. So this one in particular, I, I love because of these, these uh, lines right here. I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them. Um, and of course, you know, I could run it like this. I could run it any way I want. If I went and we went with a pre-cut, which are so common in the marketplace right now, you can see, first of all, I'm gonna have sizes that are too small, maybe sizes that aren't big enough, you're going to wind up picking and choosing what you're going to have pre-cut into the material. Um, we're set up here for more traditional nail, for some French tip shapes, and for some more stiletto type shapes. Um, love using the template in particular to make some eye lines, dynamite. Um, I've had nail techs pick these up for me. Uh, just use them for painting. Uh, it's a flexible, nice, it's a very flexible plastic material. Um, important that when you're using it, um, you realize that the, you've got the C-curve to deal with, but of course the template will accommodate that, and you can get a much better feel for what size you're going to be using. Likewise on this, if this was to be pre-cut, and this material is unclear, um, which direction are we going to run it, and which sizes are we going to, we going to run, and, and how do we know that uh, when you've got all kinds of clients to deal with. In any case, that's enough about that. We're not going to use the nail template for this. Um, I think that I'm just going to come into here. Not really conserving a lot of material here, am I? Which is one of the other reasons I made the nail template because when I'm really concerned about conserving material, the nail can template comes in very handy. So I've noticed that if I try to pick it up from an edge, I have a hard time with it. But the material is so darn thin that if I just use a little bit of pressure, it'll peel right off. And one of the reasons I'm showing you this right here is because I want to emphasize how flexible and elastic the material is. I'm just going to come straight down center and kind of stretch it and bend the nail. See, I've got that problem right there, but if I come back and just pull it and set it, and see I can set the edge so I know when I cut it with a file that I'm going to be good. I'm going to turn it around. I'm going to come back down the other side here. You can see those three major kind of pleats that I'm going to just kind of pull out. And you can see then I've got this nice edge. So I'm going to grab this file. I'm going to start back here. I'm going to set the material so I see how it looks after I make the cut. And I'm going to cut it. I'm going to set the material and cut it. And that method, I'm just going to work my way around it. For a lot of reasons, um, the Fashion Week shows, uh, studio shots, things like that, but there's not a lot of time. A lot of nail techs will pre-do tips. I'm going very slowly here so you can see what I'm doing.
Hands are always tricky because they flex more than the rest of the tip. Another interesting thing about pre-cuts is does anybody offer a pre-cut that's shaped like that? Kind of gives you a feel for sizing, gives you a feel for that way that C-curve works, gives you a feel for one of the reasons that Empower Nail Art is, is an uncut material. It, it truly is something for, for nail designers. Um, you wouldn't be able to choose the direction of your pattern, you wouldn't be able to choose how you're going to lay out, what look of the design you want to use, if you want to use black, gray, uh, the gradient fade that, that people who use polish call ombre, uh, things like that. And then uh, certainly you'll never get the shape right. You need to clean this up a little bit, you're seeing some of the tip itself, and I want to make sure that I don't have any any wrinkles or any issues and we seem to be good. I'm going to clean this down a little bit and then we're going to work with them uh, with this uh, lines print which is on a clear background. So um, I'm just going to run it vertically. I'm going to take this right here. Of course I can run it horizontally. Look, um, as you can see, I'm running the same look myself right now. Um, but we'll see if we can put a little bit more feminine bit into it here. And so I'm just going to take this part right here. And I'm probably good to about this length. And uh, again, I'm coming too wide, but I want to make sure to line up that paint good. And I want some excess just to show. Uh, the flexibility of the product. And I think I made that cut in here. Really important that uh, very light pressure is used when cutting the material. You know, I'm not cutting through the backing sheet. The material is so thin that it will just cut just by the weight of the blade. And so now I've got this right here. So you can see we're off the clear and the white lines show up. There's some white in here occasionally. And then I just want to bring that down. Let's see, make sure you can see it good. I want to come straight down the center of it to create this look. I could even come down here off the black fade. I've never done that before. Well, I'm going to come up here. And the material attaches right away. So you need to make very sure that you've got it centered before you drop it down. It's not like you've got to attach it with pressure. This is a, a just a dynamite adhesive, like I was saying. Um, without any prep, you're going to hold for a week or so. With prep, you're going to hold for two. Um, one of the side effects of that dynamite adhesive is that you got no forgiveness there. So when you go to attach it, when you go to drop it, you better have it lined up well. And then a side effect of the thinness of the material is that it will chip and wear like polish. These are a week old and you can see I got some wear and some spots. Uh, no gel top coat on these. If I had run uh, a gel top coat, uh, then it would have protected the material from these chips, of course. All right, so we seem to be good here. And we're gonna go ahead and file this excess off and take a look at the end look. Again, I don't need a lot of pressure because the material is so thin, but I do want to be lined up right. I do want to come in a downward motion only, and I do want to set the material to make sure I'm not putting any wrinkles to place. Actually, what I'm doing is I'm making sure they're not there. I pull it out so that wrinkle is not there, and then I cut above it, if you will.
clean off the excess from underneath the tip mainly. So now me personally, I couldn't do this with paint. I don't have that kind of skill set. Uh, plenty of nail techs do, of course. Uh, I don't have it. Even if I did have it, I'm not sure that uh, I could pull it off that quickly. I'm looking at um, an ombre, that's two, three paints. Uh, white, that's another one. Uh, come back with a fine brush and maybe a dotting tool, maybe not. Uh, and then uh, for those black lines and dots. And then I gotta come back with that pink. Um, probably take me quite a bit of time. One of the other reasons I love this material. That's that.